Hello and welcome back to Seaside Garage. It's been one week since this car passed the MOT and I have been driving it a lot every day. I think at least 500 kilometers now and it's really driving nice. It's, I was expecting it to be good, but it's, it's really good. It's really good. If you have been following uh, Seaside Garage's Instagram account, there's a link in the description. You, I have put up some small videos with minor faults that I've had with it, which is very minor stuff and very French stuff. It's quite fun, uh, but nothing too serious. One thing though, and that is what I'm going to try to fix today. At startup and actually for quite a long time until the engine is really hot, the uh, valve train is very noisy. I suspect that one of the lifters is uh, losing pressure and is really having a hard time getting that pressure back. I'm going to attempt something that is a bit controversial. Some say you should never do it. Some say it works very good. And uh, I have tried it sometimes and I have had bad experiences and I have had good experiences. I'm going to throw in some uh, oil cleaner and let the engine run. It's already hot. Now I'm going to let it run for 20 minutes with the oil cleaner in the oil. Then I'm going to drain the oil, change the filter, and then it should be better. The issue with that is sometimes that will loosen up some crud in the engine that is actually making the engine uh, tight. So sometimes you could end up with an engine that suddenly begins to use oil after that. Sometimes it can even scratch a bore or something because yeah, there's a lot of bad stories. But remember, and this is the reason why I'm going to do it, when people put that stuff in, something is wrong. And if it's by chance wrecks the engine just afterwards that you did the, uh, the flush, then maybe you suspect that the flush was the issue, but actually it was the problem that you had to begin with that maybe was the problem. I'm going to attempt it today, and I just hope it's going to work, because it's annoying. The next thing that I'm going to take a look at today is the... Uh, I suspect it's the... I suspect it's this thing, and um, actually I bought it without checking if it's actually the issue, but I'm pretty sure it is. This is a common problem on these. Morten, I bought it from, told me straight away, ah, it's that, your issue is this one. The problem I'm having is the uh, gear selector is moving a lot when you accelerate and when you deaccelerate to the point that if I drive the car fast, it can actually pop out of second gear, especially at downshift. When I, when I get back on the throttle, it will just slam the gear, slam the rod out of gear. And then, uh, yeah, I actually have to hold it in second gear when I drive it fast. I think this is causing it. I don't think there's anything wrong with the gearbox. I don't think there's anything wrong with the linkage. I just think the entire engine is rocking when I accelerate and that pulls the entire gear rod out. So hopefully it's this, but firstly, I'm going to put in the oil treatment to the oil, start it up, park it outside for 20 minutes and then drain the oil. I'm going to cross my fingers because I hope it works and I hope it doesn't wreck my engine. There we go. The engine has been idling for 20 minutes. It's really hot. And now I'm going to drain all the oil with the uh, additive in and then refill the oil. I won't know if it works before tomorrow when the engine is bone cold, cold again, but then I tried something at least. And if it doesn't work, then I don't think I'm going to do much about that because it is not uncommon for older cars or cars in general, especially with hydraulic lifters to be noisy at startup and then it disappears. Some engines you can't do anything about it. And uh, I think, but I think I have a chance to fix it on this one. But if not, then I'm just gonna have to live with it. It does, it disappears after a while, that's, that's nice. But I'm not going to begin to tear the engine down because of that. I can do that if the head gasket blows, blows or something like that, but not just because of a noisy lifter. <laughs> and yeah, I don't have the right tool to open the, to take out the drain bolt for the Renault. It's a square one, so I have 
made one myself. There we go. I'm going to let it drain. There's 5.5 liters of oil in this engine. That's a lot. So it will take a little while. Afterwards, when that's finished draining, then we're going to take out the oil filter, which is uh, extremely hard on this model. Yeah. So the next in line is the oil filter, and this is placed in a rather hard to get place. Um, and uh, you could begin to say that it's a bad design and all that, but in reality, it's a 1.8 engine in a very small car. So there is going to be some hard to reach spaces for sure. But as you can see, I don't know if you even can, but the blue thing right there is the oil filter. And yes, you can see it from above, but you cannot get to it. So what I think is the easiest way so far is to reach underneath and then take it out and that can be difficult. I was really cursing when I changed the oil the first time because I remember I had the radiator out and then I forgot to do it with the radiator out. So <laughs> it was such a shame because that would have been a walk in the park. But knowing that the oil filter is only 500 kilometers old, I don't expect it to be as tight as it was last time around. But still, it's going to be so difficult. Well, I know of an old trick that I could try. I'm just going to lay my hand right here and then... So now my hand is a bit more manageable because all my fingers are broken, so it's just impossible. No matter what you do, this is just such a hard task on this engine. I wonder how much more expensive it was to get a mechanic to change the oil filler on this versus a normal car. And it's not only that it's time consuming, it's also 5.5 liters. That's a lot of oil. Especially since most containers are five liters or four liters. So you have to buy two of them. Ta-da! That was difficult. And I just looked at the camera. The camera has been filming for 10 minutes. So removing the old oil filter took 10 minutes. And now I'm gonna fit the new one. I'm trying not to fill the gasket surface with sand and crap on the way up there. Actually, I'm doing this without seeing what I'm doing. I'm only feeling, making sure not to cross thread it. There we go. So let's look at the camera. 15 minutes. So uh, a quarter of an hour to uh, change an oil filter on this one. So the next issue I'm having it is that with the uh, to do with the gearbox or not the gearbox but the gear selector because uh, I can actually kick this car out of second gear especially just by hammering the throttle in then it will kick out of gear if I don't hold the gear in place and I expect that dog bone thingy right there to be the issue because that makes sense and uh, it's a common issue on them. Morten even told me so, so thank you for that Morten. But let me show you how important this thing seems to be because take a look at this. I don't know how well that picks up but Can you see it? Yeah, the entire engine is rocking about. A lot. And in details, we can take a look at the bushing on it. While I take this pry bar. I 
I don't know how well this picks up on camera, but the engine is rocking extremely much. So <laughs> this seems to be very, very dead. I'm going to change this and then I think that will make a world of difference. One new mount or dog leg or whatever you want to call it is mounted and the engine is now, of course it's still able to move, but not at all in the same fashion as before. I can't rock it with my hands out here. I can still rock it a little bit with a with a tire iron, but of course it needs to be able to to damp the vibration slightly. So this is good. I'm really happy about this. This should really transform the, the driving experience on this car, which is already very, very good. But the struggle, but the struggle to keep it in gear was a bit annoying. So this is all for now. I'm going to fill up the engine with some new 5W40 oil. I, I had 10W40 before, but I think this is going to be a bit better for the engine. I'll make sure to make an update when I know if it makes a difference, the oil, uh, the oil flush and oil change. And uh, yeah, but this is all for now. Thank you all for watching. Remember, you can support me on Patreon if you like. And uh, see you in the next one. Oh, take a look at this. I'm just going to turn you around. One thing is the wonderful Traband. Another thing is this extremely pretty sunset. Sunset over Traband and a bath. Hello.